Hey guys, and welcome to the ultimate beginner's guide to Rocket League. If you've ever tried playing Rocket League, you'll agree that most players start out with big expectations. You might have imagined that after a few days of playing, you'd be faking air dribbles into mid-air demos to win in Game 7 on our LCS center stage. But as much as we'd all love to be Justin, the majority of our starting gameplay probably looks more like this. <laughs> but in all seriousness, how do you go from here Bruh. to here? And maybe even more importantly, what is the fastest way to go about doing it? More on that after today's sponsor, Raycon. Just kidding guys, there won't be any sponsorships here for a long time, but if you are one of the 98% of people currently watching that aren't subscribed, then please do consider subscribing if you find this video helpful. It's free, and you can unsubscribe whenever you want. Anyways, without any further wait, let's go over how to improve fast in Rocket League. Okay, before we get into any of the real training tips, the first thing you need to get straightened out as a beginner is your settings, which includes camera settings as well as controller settings. Now, if I could go back in time and change one thing from when I started playing Rocket League, it would undoubtedly be my settings, because for over 500 hours, I played on suboptimal keyboard and mouse default settings, which was all fine when I was just starting, but looking back, I could have saved so much time if I used the controller binds that I have now. So do yourself a favor, and since we now know what sort of settings work and don't work in Rocket League, get your camera settings and controller settings sorted out first. I'll link two different videos on screen where I go over this sort of thing so I can save time in this video, but if you haven't already, I highly, highly suggest you watch those. Once you have your settings figured out, the best tip I can give you to improve is actually to not play ranked. And while this might sound crazy, I truly believe the fastest way to improve in Rocket League is not by actually playing ranked, it's by practicing. The truth is, now that Rocket League has been around for a while, players have designed much more efficient ways to improve than just queuing normal games. Whether it's with custom-made workshop maps, with training packs, or just in free play, I think specifically focusing on training will help you improve much, much faster than just mindlessly queuing into ranked matches. So, my recommendation is that give or take, for every hour you play Rocket League, if you want to improve fast, you should also spend at least one hour training or practicing. Basically what this means is that bare minimum, you should be practicing as much as you're playing. Now with that being said, you should only play Rocket League if you're having fun. So while in theory it might be best to train 10 hours and only actually queue games for a very small amount of time, in practice you should do what you enjoy most. But whether you enjoy training for 2 hours straight or just 10 minutes, there's no question that something is better than nothing. So really do your best to balance things out and find ways to practice that you enjoy. Now that you know you should spend more time practicing and not playing the game, you might be wondering, what are the best ways for a beginner to practice? Well, in my opinion, the fastest way to improve for a beginner player is to learn car control before ball control. Now, if you're just getting into Rocket League, generally Rocket League mechanics can be broken down into two categories, ball control and car control. Credit goes to Sunless Khan, but this graphic here explains the optimal progression in Rocket League pretty well, in that you first have to start with the basics in order to build up to more complicated mechanics. Now, the only thing that I don't perfectly agree with in this graphic is that it puts the car control and ball control categories on the same level. Now the reason I don't think this is perfect is because in my opinion, almost all of the on the ball mechanics in Rocket League require you to have some sort of base level of car control beforehand. Now with some mechanics this might mean controlling your car midair, some might require you to be able to flip at a super precise time, and the list goes on. But I think it can be summarized like this. Before you can really start to hit the ball how you want, you need to know how to move your car the way you want. So, that's why my recommendation is to first practice using car control drills before ball control ones. So to start with some basic car control, if you're completely new to the game, I think it'd be smart to just spend some time driving around in free play. 
While you do this, you should be experimenting with different inputs and be actively thinking about how your car responds, whether it's on the ground, on the wall, in the air, or after dodging a certain direction. Once you've done this for a little while, at the bare minimum, you should at least understand the basic inputs and what they do based on where your car is positioned. So after you do this, I then recommend moving on to some more basic car control mechanics, like the wave dash, flip canceling, half flipping, even just power sliding, and other things like that. If you don't want to watch my videos on this stuff, then another really great creator who makes in-depth guides for this sort of thing is Verge, so I highly recommend his videos if he comes up in the search. Anyways, only after you get those basic ground mechanics down do I recommend learning more complicated mechanics like aerialing and air car control. Once you spend a good amount of time in free play and you have a good grip on your car control, that's when I recommend you move on to things like training packs and custom maps. Now, even though it might take some time to work up to things like rings or dribbling challenges, once you can get here, this is the kind of stuff that will help you progress and rank up faster than if you had just spent all your time playing games. Now, if you want to learn more about what custom maps and training packs I specifically recommend, I'll have a short list down in the description below, but I'll probably discuss that more in a future video. So for the sake of saving time, what's most important here is that you know to start with the basics in free play, then work your way up to custom training packs and maps. Once you get to this point, the next step I'd recommend taking is moving on to ball control training. For basic ball control, I recommend starting with basic dribbling and flicks if you are a beginner. Once again, I think the best place to start is free play. And if you haven't heard this drill already, the number one drill I can recommend for learning basic ball control is just resetting the ball to its kickoff position, hitting it once, and then trying to generate all the power you can with a shot on net. If you practice this basic chip and shoot, you'll start to understand how to control the ball and hit it with power. Another great drill is just hitting the ball around as fast as you can in free play. Your goal with this drill should be knocking the ball around the map and actively reading it bouncing off the walls. As you see the ball bounce into different areas, you'll subtly be mimicking gameplay scenarios and you'll understand how the ball will play in game based on where it hits the wall, where it's rolling, if it's hitting the backboard, and things like that. Just like with car control training, once you spent a good amount of time in free play is when I'd then start to move on to custom maps and training packs for the fastest training process. Once again, I'll have maps and training packs that I like to use linked down in the description below, but stay tuned for a follow-up video where I discuss more about that stuff in depth. Like I said earlier though, there's no one drill that you have to do or one training pack that you have to practice. So really, whatever you can enjoy doing most is what you should be using to train and practice. At the end of the day, Rocket League isn't only about getting better. So even though I said try to practice at least as much as you play, that doesn't mean you have to grind hours and hours in training. The best routine is really the one you can stick to. So use all these tips as you play, but most importantly, make sure to have fun while you're doing it. Anyways though guys, that's about all for this video, but before the video ends, if you're new to the channel and don't know about the monthly giveaway I do, then this is the part of the video where I'll talk more about that. Basically, at the end of every month, I pick a random commenter on my videos to be coached to GC by me. What this means is that if your comment gets picked, I'll coach you until you hit Grand Champion rank in Rocket League. So if you want to enter for a chance to win that, all you have to do is leave a comment below with your rank in Rocket League. If you did find this video interesting, all I ask is that you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. These videos take me so many hours to make, so if you could do those two things, I'd really appreciate it. That's all I've got though, so thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.